Matt, could you walk us through your at bat when you let off the game with the home run? Uh, yeah. Uh, got in the box and saw that he had a little sink, a little run on his fastball, and uh, that's usually the pitch that uh, a lot of us are trying to attack, especially early in the game. Uh, it's also pitcher dependent, but uh, saw it. Uh, saw that had a decent amount of sink and run, so uh, just decided that uh, I was going to hit it. I needed to hunt it up, hunt it, hunt it off the ground, and try to get under it. And y'all have played from behind so much this year, and y'all jumped out to the early lead, obviously, tonight. How, how different was that? Was that kind of nice to not have to, to pull off another comeback? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, it's nice to jump out ahead. It's always nice to it's always nice to score runs regardless of the situation, of course. But, uh, you know, it also goes to show that no matter what part of the game it is, no matter what the score is, I have confidence in my team, whether it's the pitching staff or the hitting. And uh, – while, while it does help to jump out to an early lead, it doesn't affect my confidence throughout the remainder of the game, no matter the score. Tom. Uh, Matt, that was home run number 99 for the team, uh, which is a school record. Did, did you guys knew, know you were approaching the record, and how does it feel to be the record-breaking man? Uh, I actually didn't know. Um, I wasn't following the, the team total, but uh, uh, Dylan Leach, <laughs> Dylan Leach, told me after uh, after I came into the dugout and congratulated me and I was like yeah, I mean I only did I only did a small part of it you know our offense is great you know one through nine and then some the guys that come off the bench they're great too and uh you know just tip my cap to those guys do you know how many oppos you've hit this year um two or two or three offhand I could think of thanks all right, let me know if you've got questions in the chat. Nate? I guess, Matt, any worries as a lot of left runners left on base as the game went on? Was that a concern at all, or just with cops pitching, you all just had the confidence no matter what? Uh, runners left on for us on offense or runners left on? Yeah, well, I mean, you all had some runners on that, you know, didn't get, you know, with all the walks they gave you. I mean, and you, I guess you scored two runs without a hit that one inning. Yeah, um, you know, uh, it, it's Kevin Cops, you know. No matter the scenario, we, we have as much confidence in him as, as we can have. And uh, uh, our offense is going to prevail regardless. And, you know, some nights are better than others, but uh, uh, we're, we're fine. And uh, we have all the confidence in the world, Kevin, as well. Thanks. Seth? Yeah. Yeah, Matt, is there a different approach for you when you hit leadoff? Um, not necessarily. Um, there's, there's parts of an approach that I feel like are pretty constant. They're going to stay the same, you know, throughout, throughout, throughout my career, no matter the pitcher. And then it's also pitcher dependent. It's going to change regardless of the, you know, it's going to change every, every pitcher, a lot of times different pitches and, um, you know, without, without giving away too much, you know, but uh, um, not necessarily. It, I would say it's more dependent on, depending on the setting where there's runners on, uh, how many outs there are. I would say that that affects it more than where the order I hit. And then also, what was y'all's approach tonight with the, uh, you know, you took 10 walks. Uh, what was y'all's approach against Nebraska's pitching? Um, really just, like you said, find, you know, see it in the zone, see it up. The first guy was a, I would, I'd definitely say a sinker kind of guy, a sinker, spin guy. Um, he liked to live down in the zone. He did a really good job at that, as you, uh, as you saw. And whenever we hunted it up, uh, really made him, you know, we had to make him throw it over the plate, make him throw it, you know, <laughs> knee higher, higher. And uh, when we did that, we were much more successful. And uh, the other guys there, you know, they, they threw an assortment of pitching at us and the, what it comes down to is seeing it in the zone and, you know, hunting a pitch and hitting it. And then one more from me, you, uh, you kind of been trending upwards, you know, ever since the SEC tournament kind of getting out of a funk, are you doing anything different? Um, not necessarily. Um, you know, I said before that, that, uh, you know, the, I feel like, I feel like people, people dwell on stats a lot and, you know, everything has context and whether, you know, there's bad games, there's good games, but I went through a, went through a spell where I was hitting a lot of balls at people, you know, 
uh, a lot of a lot of games where the wind's blowing in and I hit it to the track where it could have been, you know, could have been very different and so on and so forth. That's baseball. Didn't hurt my confidence or anything like that. And we're starting to fall a little bit. All right, last call for questions from Matt. All right, thanks, Matt. Nice job.